amongst heaps of rubble, tucked between layers of decay. There exists a small seed of hope that threatens to send all fear away. They say this city is far beyond repair, so there's no use in putting effort and care into something whose time has come and passed. The devastation seems far too vast to even know where to start. Well, what if we had the same approach with our hearts? You see, from birth, I've often chosen my own way. And this might be a bold thing to say, but I'd surmise you find yourself in the same situation. A self-made man who's allowed the invasion of selfishness and compromise to set in. Sometimes it's difficult to even know where to begin. Progression has done little more than reveal the many areas I'd yet to heal from, because I couldn't even see they existed. Could it be all along I'd resisted opening my eyes to reality out of fear that the truth would be too much for me? Or maybe that's how it's meant to be. A seed of hope pressed down to grow and redefine the blight that surrounds, casting light upon what was kept in shadows, revealing what had crept in and all of its infectious intentions. A small spark that consumes the tension of a hopeless wasteland that kept a young boy from becoming a man. A seed that grows and infects the infection, till all that remains is a poor reflection of its ill intent. Now all of our hearts are dark and tainted with the hue of sinfulness. For some it's malice or hateful greed, or simply as subtle as seeing our selfish wants as needs. With a laundry list of necessary changes, it can seem impossible to rearrange the pieces of our convoluted hearts into something that resembles what it should have been all along. But as a weed restricts its neighbors from growing tall and strong, like an unstoppable contagion, a seed of hope can grow and spread and bring to life what was once seen as dead. Now this city may not be what it used to be, but it beckons small seeds like you and me to overcome the overwhelming, not necessarily by being a revolutionary, but by recognizing the one way to make this city whole is simply through love and compassion towards each individual soul.